Welcome to Stamp Designs with Denise. I'm Denise Johnson, an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! Coming to you live from Bedford, New Hampshire. Um, thank you everybody that's joining us and watching today. Um, I am going to be using some designer series paper today in the cards and envelopes that I will be showing you. There's a big sale going on during the month of October at Stampin' Up! And um, I want you to take advantage of that and sometimes we get designer series paper and it's so pretty that we don't want to cut it we don't want to use it we just want to keep it and hoard it so um, there's a sale going on so you can buy more of it so I want to show you how you can use it and um, get the most out of your designer series paper so we're going to make the, some cards and we're also going to decorate our envelopes today with some designer series paper as well so um, Welcome, I see I have a couple people joining me, Jennifer and Vicki, thank you for joining me live. Um, if you're not watching this live, um, I always put my measurements and pictures of the cards on my blog. It's stampdesignswithdenise.net, so you can subscribe to that or you can visit that blog and you will get um, all the information for the cards that I am going to be displaying. So I'm gonna get my camera turned around and we're gonna get started having some fun making some cards. Just make sure my lighting is okay and that I have everything in my frame here. And let's see. So I talked about the designer series paper sale that is currently going on. Um, I will put a link in that will show you there's 15 different paper packs that are currently on sale. Um, some holiday designs, Halloween, Thanksgiving, or um, plaid paper is really, really cute. So you can look up and see if there's a pattern there that catches your eye. Um, also, Paper Pumpkin is a monthly subscription kit where you get the whole kit every month delivered to you. It contains all the supplies you need to um, make that month's project. I actually was working on, I just got the October one um, comes in this really cute little box and it is making eight different um, cards. So these are the two different styles of cards that came with that. So um, getting a start on my holiday cards with those. And so next month you have until November 10th to subscribe and it's going to be, it's called Jolly Gingerbread and there's going to be enough supplies to create 15 gingerbread themed gift card holders and envelopes and so i think this is going to be really popular because with um, our current situation and people not gathering um, i think there'll be a lot of packages being mailed and rather than mailing big huge packages which can start adding up and costing a lot of money sending gift cards um, will be uh, very popular this year so keep that in mind if you're interested in Paper Pumpkin, let me know. I'll put a link to sign up for that also on my blog. So let's get started with our cards. My first card is going to use the Magic in This Night Designer Series paper, which is a Halloween-themed Paper. As you can see, it's got some spiders and bats and stuff on it, but I'm going to be using this pattern here, which is flowers, and making more of a um, fall Thanksgiving type card with that. So my card base is going to be with the basic black. It's eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored at four and a quarter. I have a layer of Pretty Peacock, which is four inches by five and a quarter. And then I also have a layer of the Whisper White, which is four by five and a quarter. This will be our inside layer. I have two pieces of that designer series paper and they are three and three quarters by one and a half. I have a piece of the Cajun Craze, which is one of the coordinating colors with that. And this is three and three quarters and one and three quarters and a piece of the Whisper White, which is three and three quarters by one and a half. And then 
I have um, some ribbon, which is the scalloped linen ribbon. Um, I've already pre-tied it because watching me struggle to make bows on camera is not fun. And this is also in the pretty peacock color. And then, like I said, we're gonna de decorate our envelopes with some designer series paper. And so this is my little cheat sheet, so I know. So this piece of paper is two and a half by five and three quarters. So I'm going to be using the Pretty Peacock ink pad. And we will get started making this. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the Whisper White layer. And I'm doing it on the right hand side of that. And that's all the stamping for the outside, but I did have some items that I'm going to stamp a sentiment on the inside. So my outside sentiment was simply thankful for all the good things. And then inside I'm gonna stamp, you are the happy to my day. And then I wanted to dress up the inside a little bit more. So um, this, the sentiment came from Country Home, the inside and outside sentiment comes from this Country Home stamp set, um, but it doesn't have like a flower or anything with it um, to coordinate with this paper. So I dug out my dress to impress. This had little flowers in it and I thought that these flowers would coordinate nicely and I could just add a little bit more on the inside to bring the flowers from the front of the card to the inside. So I'm just gonna put those in each corner. And then we can start putting our card together. So I'm gonna put this white layer on the inside. Oh, I did it upside down. If Vicky's still on, she's probably laughing at me. But I didn't press it too hard, so hopefully I can still peel it up without, there we go, without ruining it. So I guess um, messing up is part of my act now. I tend to do this every time I do a video. Okay, so that's our inside. And then we're gonna put our pretty peacock layer on the outside. And then we can start layering. Now what I'm gonna do is put the designer series paper, some on the top, some on the bottom, and those Cajun craze will go in the middle. So I just wanna check my spacing. Okay. So, so this is a pretty simple, easy card. Um, all of our designer series paper always has the coordinating Stampin' Up! colors listed on the packaging, so you know which colors are going to coordinate the best with it. Um, so that's how I chose these, the Pretty Peacock and the Cajun Craze colors. Put that in the middle. Our sentiment is going to go right there. And now I'm embarrassed to say I have messed up again because what I wanted to do was attach my bow here and I'm going to have to try and I should have attached it before so I'm gonna try and tuck it in and see if we can do this this way. So it looks like I made that work. So I might just see if I can get a little bit of tape in here so it holds and my ribbon doesn't pop out. There we go. Okay, so that's how you 
fix your mistakes when you're making your cards and you don't ruin the whole card. And then as I said, we're gonna decorate our envelope. So what I'm gonna use is Stampin' Up! has this seal plus. I use seal on my regular cards, but seal plus has a little bit tighter hold and because I'm decorating the envelope, I am um, going to use this because I don't want it to come off in the mail and have the envelope rip and it won't get it to the person it's supposed to get to. So I'm gonna come right as close to the edge as this as I can and attach my tape. And I ran out of my, my seal, so let me grab a new one. Just all kinds of hazards today, I guess. I should have maybe stayed in bed. Okay, I have a new seal now. Seal Plus. I'm gonna do my tape right along the edge here. And then also on this bottom edge. I went over a little bit, so I'm just gonna tuck it up. And then as I said, this is five and three quarters by two and a half. I'm gonna match it up right here on the edge. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I am going to trim this. Right around. So there's our envelope then with our coordinating card. And because I have that little flower stamp out, I'm going to maybe add one on the front too. Right down in here. And there we go. And now your card and your envelope coordinate and they are ready to go. Remember, that's what we did with the inside. So there's our first card. I'm just gonna set that aside, clean up my ink and pads a little bit so I don't get that on anything else. And we, oh, yes, and I also wanted to show you, Stampin' Up! does sell um, the envelope dies, which are these, which will cut if you don't want to hand cut it, or if your hand's not steady and you're not interested in hand cutting your envelopes, um, they do sell dies that you will use with the stamp and cut emboss machine. So this is a card I had made a few weeks ago and um, decorated the envelope with that. This does have a scallop edge, but I think this looks pretty good too. Our next card uses the Poinsettia Place Designer Series paper. So these are all the patterns that come with that and then the coordinating colors, bumblebee, green, garden green, old olive, real red, soft suede, and then the whisper white. And then I'm going to be using the Peaceful Bows bundle, which is the stamp set, and then the Beautiful Bows dies. So I did already do the envelope. I have a very vanilla envelope because that is the paper I'm using on our card. And I already attached that and cut it out on this envelope. So I have a soft suede layer. It is uh, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a very vanilla layer for the inside and that's four by five and a quarter. My designer series paper is four by five and a quarter. And then my second piece of designer series paper is uh, one and a quarter by five and a half. And then using some elements from that die, I die cut 
the sentiment square and we're going to stamp that sentiment on there and then I also did the pine cone and then the detailed pine cone and one of the um, bows to decorate our card with. So let's get this stamped. I'm going to use the garden green. Usually I like to stamp my sentiment first and then go die cut it because then I know it's centered and it's straight. But because I'm doing this in a video, um, it's easier to die cut my, my stuff before the video starts. It saves time and then you don't have to watch me do that. But that's pretty straight. I'm pretty happy with that. And then... I am going to decorate the inside as well. That's all the stamping for the outside. And then we're going to add a sentiment for the inside. This also comes with that stamp set, Season's Greetings. And I have the bow. I think I'm going to put some here. maybe one down the bottom and then it also has this pine cone stamp and I'm gonna use the soft suede and just add a pine cone right there so that just sort of brings elements from the outside of the card to the inside and then we can start layering our card So my husband and I went to North Carolina about a week and a half ago or so um, to Pinehurst and we golfed, but they have pine trees down there that have enormous pine cones. They're like this big, they're enormous. I don't know that being in New Hampshire, I've seen pine cones around here that are that big. Um, so I was tempted to take some and bring them home with me. But I have heard that bugs like to live in them. So I was a little bit nervous about bringing some home because we drove and being stuck in the car and have bugs crawling out of these big, huge pine cones I had wanted to collect and bring home for decorating for the holidays. So, so I left all the pine cones in North Carolina and I did not bring them home. So I'm putting some dimensionals on the back of my sentiment so I can pop it up on the front of my card. Let's see if I put this here. And then these are just some items I'm gonna add to add some more dimension to this card. I'm using my fine tip glue pen with detailed die cuts I like to um, use this and hopefully not get glue everywhere but because this is a live video i'm probably going to make a mess you just never know here we go put that right across the top and then i also need this is really good for this really fine detail stuff Okay, let's attach this and then I'm going to put a little bit of tape on the back and add that right there. And then that's our card and then this was our coordinating envelope and because I have this little pine cone out, I am going to put a little pine cone on the front. 
of my envelope right down there. And there we go. That's our next card using some designer series paper. Let's put this away, this way. Let me get my stamps and ink out of the way. And we will go to our next card. Oh, I did want to show you this card. This is a card I made um, using that point set a place paper. It's very simple as well. It's just got the designer series paper. I think this is three inches. The garden green layer is three and a quarters, just layered on the front of a card. Stamp a sentiment used a punch to punch it out, add a little rip in and a little embellishment. And, um, and this is also very, very pretty, easy card, easy to put together and ready to go. Okay, so for our next card, we are going to use the Twal Tidings Designer Series paper. So it's real red on one side, exact same pattern on the second side using the garden green and then um, the coordinating color is very vanilla with that. So the stamp set I decided to use is um, Nature's Beauty because the pattern I'm using from that had um, a lot of these animals that are also on the stamp set. This stamp set does not have a sentiment with it, so I'm using the Itty Bitty Christmas stamp set for my sentiment. So I cut out a very vanilla using the stip sha Stitched Shapes dies. And then let's see, my card base is eight and a half by five and a half. I scored it four and a quarter. I will have to grab, I should have a very vanilla layer that I don't have with me right now, but I'll go grab it. Um, and that will be four by five and a quarter. I have my envelope and then I have that extra designer series paper that we're gonna use to decorate the envelope with. And then my designer series paper. So let me see if I can get this. My First pattern on the designer series paper. This is two and three eighths by three and three eighths, and then uh, one and a half inches by one and three quarter inches. The second pattern is going to be two and three eighths, two and three eighths by one and three quarters. So that will go that way. And this piece is one and a half by three and three eighths. So this is the way I'm going to layer these on here, and then that will go right there. I have a little piece of the ribbon from the Forever Greenery Trim Combo I'm going to put on the front and then I have a half inch piece of very vanilla scrap paper that I'm going to put my sentiment on. So let's do our stamping. I just decided to do the, the bunny and then a little bit of those um, twigs and we're using the garden green. So it's gonna be very monochromatic on here with all these green, but I think it'll be very pretty in the end. So put my bunny here in the middle and then just kinda put these twigs next to him like that. So while I have this out, actually, I'm going to put these on the front of my envelope here. And then we'll do our sentiment. I have celebrate the season. Right there. And let me grab my very vanilla piece. Okay, sorry about that. 
let's see. So for the inside, to decorate the inside, I think I will actually see if I can put my bunny down here in the corner this time. And for an inside sentiment, we'll do thinking of you at Christmas. Get these out of the way and we will start assembling our card. So this is how I'm going to lay this out and I'm going to start up here in this corner and just make sure that each side is an equidistance from my paper and then just work my way around the card. Trying to keep that same distance on each side. Okay, and then I'm going to use some tape. I'm going to tape this onto the back of my stitch shape die here. Just It just gives it a little bit of texture on the front of this card. I'll use dimensionals to pop it up. And then for our sentiment, trim off the end here a little bit. Trim that, and then I'm going to use my banners pick a punch. Slide that down in and punch the that out. I use that. Uh, I use that punch a lot. I really like it. Put some dimensionals on this. And I'm going to put this down here. And then we can add our inside layer. And there we go. So I know these measurements on this card were a little confusing, so I definitely will put those on the blog if you're interested in making this card. Um, those will be in my blog, and there'll be a link on the Facebook video to my blog. And so now we have our envelope. So I'm using my Seal Plus here because it's a little bit stronger, and I'm hoping it's going to hold Okay, that seems to be a little crooked. I do it right along the edge on the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to line this up right at the top. Okay, flip it over, and then we can trim right around it. And there we have our envelope and our card. So I'm gonna get all the other 
cards we just made out here, but I do have one more thing I wanted to show you. This um, Trimming the Town Designer Series paper is one of the papers on um, sale this month, and it has all these different patterns in it. But it does have this one, well, it has two sheets of this that have this whole entire scene. And so I didn't really want to cut up the whole scene and didn't know how to make it into a card. So I bought a frame that's 12 by 12, and I put it in there and thought that this would be a good um, piece to decorate with during the holidays. So I used the Ornate Layers dies, and I cut out a piece of the Misty Moonlight, which coordinates, and then I used a sentiment from Wrapped in Christmas, Friends and Family are the Truest Gifts of Christmas. And I attached that to the front in the corner. So I don't know if you can see all of this in the the video. Um, but so anyways, I didn't want to cut up this one piece of designer series paper and I've made it into a home decor piece. So I just wanted to share that with you. So let's see, we have our nature's beauty card. We have our peaceful bows. And then we also have our magic in the night card with all of our coordinating envelopes. So please comment and share, ask me any questions. If you have any questions, if I can help you in any way, with your um, stamping, please let me know. Um, again, my blog is stampdesignswithdenise.net. You can email me at stampdesigns@comcast.net, And I also have a YouTube channel, a Facebook business page. And um, if you're placing an order in October, this is the host code you can use. You'll receive a free gift from me. So thank you so much for joining me. And remember to leave a little sparkle wherever you